to the AFL and Richmond say they're ready to face Adelaide in next Saturday's grand final. It's been a long time for the club, which secured a first appearance in the Premiership Decider since 1982. 75,000 members and 100,000 here today. A 35-year wait finally over. Certainly there's, there were some, some tears shed by a lot of our supporters and, and some of our players, but um, they were um, well followed by a, a lot of smiles and a, and a lot of celebrations. After perennial disappointment around finals time, the Tigers have clawed their way to AFL's biggest stage. And looking to stop them from lifting the silverware is the top of the table Adelaide, who in round six inflicted Richmond's worst defeat of the season. There's no doubt next week we, we go in as underdogs. They're a fantastic side. They've put everyone on the sword. Um, but we give ourselves a chance if we play our best. We're capable of beating anyone. Hardwick also confident Captain Trent Cochin will avoid a grand final suspension after this bump left Dylan Shiel with a concussion. On the streets of Richmond, supporters were wearing their pride on more than just their sleeves. Yeah, it was unreal. It was unlike anything I've sort of ever experienced and it feels weird now, like it all still feels like a dream to be honest. Very happy. I've been waiting a long, long time for this. It's just a good feeling. I think it brings the whole community together. Well, last year, Melburnians rallied around a local team that had reached their first AFL grand final in decades and they went on to win despite their underdog status. This year, history is repeating itself with the Tigers front and centre. One last game in front of a capacity crowd at the MCG remains. And the good news for Richmond is expected to continue tonight at the AFL's annual presentation night, the Brownlow Medal. And SBS reporter Manny Sigas was on the red carpet for the arrivals just moments ago. Well, the count for the AFL's highest individual honour, the Brownlow Medal, is about to get underway here at the Crown Palladium in Melbourne, officially kicking off AFL Grand Final Week. Now, Richmond has made it to their first Premiership decider in 35 years, and there's plenty of buzz surrounding the Tigers here tonight as well. Dustin Martin is the hot favourite with his explosive, no-nonsense style, likely to win over the umpires. Now, he is notoriously shy, and just a short time ago, he only did one interview here on the red carpet, and we just managed to squeeze in to hear what he had to say. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest. I'm not a massive fan of the attention, but I'll just come and enjoy the night with the boys. And helping Martin's case this evening is the fact that last year's winner, Geelong's Paddy Dangerfield, has been rubbed out from the vote this year because he was suspended back in round 19. Being eligible doesn't, doesn't bother me. Being uh, ineligible for the grand final, unfortunately, pains me to say. But that's footy. We weren't good enough, unfortunately, this year. But uh, it's a special night and I think Dusty's going to be pretty hard to beat. And as you heard, Richmond skipper Trent Cochin has been cleared to play in the grand final this weekend. So that news, coupled with a strong performance by Dustin Martin this evening, could prove a huge boost for Richmond as they face what has been a very dominant Crow side. Now for the full details of tonight's vote, be sure to check out SBS World News Late Edition at 10.40. There's just one more sleep until the AFL decider in Melbourne. All the public engagements that come with Grand Final Week have now been ticked off. Before the two teams went into lockdown, they were amongst 150,000 fans at the Grand Final Parade. And SBS reporter Manny Tsigas was there for all the excitement. Well, to give you an idea of just how seriously Melbourne takes its AFL, today was a public holiday allowing fans a chance to line the streets of the CBD to witness the AFL Grand Final Parade. It ended here at the MCG, which tomorrow is expected to host 100,000 fans of both Richmond and Adelaide, who will be part of the agony and the ecstasy that is the AFL Grand Final. Hours before the parade began, fans were out in force to catch a glimpse of their heroes. Sid, can the Tigers win tomorrow, mate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With both teams looking to break long premiership droughts, some travelled a long way and now expect their side to go the distance. This is our first time to watch the parade. We came all the way from the Philippines just to watch this. <laughs> I made a deal with myself when I moved over to France that if we ever got to the GF that I'd, uh, I'd be here. Dustin Martin was awarded the Brownlow medal this week. He wants the Premiership too. Oh, huge. You know, you hear the roar last week and the week before and all through the season um, at the ground. Uh, that definitely adds a great energy. A streak of yellow and black growing by the day. Last year they've been you know, stuck with us through thick and thin and this year as well. So um, hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, get a win, which will uh, tip things off uh, even better. Adelaide, who've been dominant all season, accrediting their fans for their help. 
I'll be forever appreciative. Our fans are so loyal and passionate that um, there's no doubt in my mind that they would get a lot of um, fans over here. It's going to be a great contest tomorrow. No, the game taking on even more significance for one of its key veterans. Playing for 13 years is the first time I ever got the opportunity to play in a grand final, so it's against Richmond, there's a quality opposition, uh, can't wait to get out there. Well, footy may be the top priority today, but the focus has also been on security. Around 1,000 AFP and Victorian police officers have been monitoring the streets here today. Bollards have been placed along the grand final parade route, and experts have been called in to analyse vision captured by new CCTV cameras. High stakes and high security on the road to AFL's richest prize. Well, this morning, security scare in Melbourne was soon overshadowed by AFL's biggest day of the year. The Richmond Tigers have achieved a fairy tale finish to this year's AFL season, capturing their first premiership in 37 years. Well, SBS reporter Manny Tsigas joins us now live from Melbourne, along with some very excitable Richmond supporters. Manny, uh, seems to me like the city is in party mode. Tell us about it. You can say that again, Tomo. Yeah, this, if, if last year, Melbourne managed to get behind another team which had reached their first grand final in decades and they managed to overcome the odds despite being underdogs and, and, and going over a, a, a dominant interstate side. This year history has repeated itself but it's the Tigers who are front and centre. <laughs> and as you can see Tomo, Melbourne is absolutely in raptures. The only thing longer than the lines around Punt Road Oval has been the wait for Richmond's next premiership. How much would a win mean to you? I'd sell all six of my children. <laughs> the Tiger Army gathering for family fun at the club's headquarters, hoping to witness history. Win or lose, we've, we've made it this far, it's amazing, but I mean a win would be just phenomenal. And leave it to a former Richmond great to sum up what today also means for their heroes. The money is fantastic, the lifestyle is fantastic, but this lasts a lifetime. I'm getting very, very emotional because I just want it to happen for these people. The streak of yellow and black spilling a short distance away to the MCG, where a murder of crows awaited them. We came in 97, we came in 98, so uh, this will be a, a hat trick for us and it'll be absolutely wonderful. The anticipation also building in the city of churches. Dowson's gathering at Adelaide Oval from locals. It's really good, really, really good. exciting. To newly recruited Japanese fans. It's unique, it's only in Australia. Yeah. I really love it. <laughs> While well, the time for talking is officially over, it's now up to either Adelaide to put an exclamation point on what's been a dominant season or for Richmond to end on a fairy tale note and their first premiership in nearly 40 years. The Tigers shook off a nervous first quarter to kick seven consecutive goals. Sending Punt Road and surrounding areas into a frenzy. With the Crows fading fast, it was clear well before the final siren. Tigerland would reign supreme. In 2017, the Tigers have got home. So Tomo, a slight anti-climax there, but the Tigers are more than happy to take that win. I'll be back a little later in the bulletin with a full wrap of the game. Good on you, Manny. That's Manny Tigers in Melbourne. Uh, time for the day in sport now with Lucy Zelich. Uh, Lucy, uh, good evening to you. Uh, they're singing in Tigerland. Oh yeah, they're, they're going to be singing well into the night, Mike Tomolaris. Good evening. 37 years of finals heartbreak is finally over for the Tigers after a dominant win over the Crows at the MCG. And SBS <coughs> reporter Manny Tsigas joins us once again from the club's home base in Richmond. And Manny, it capped off a dream year for the club and superstar midfielder Dusty Martin, didn't it? That's right, Lucy. Dusty Martin is the toast of not only Tigerland, but the AFL as well. On Monday, he won a Brownlow medal. This afternoon, he played a central role in helping Richmond get over the line in the grand final. And then straight after that, he was handed the Norm Smith medal. It doesn't get any sweeter than that, whether you're Dusty or a Tigers fan. Not since last century had the Crows and Tigers featured on grand final day. 44 players with no experience on this stage 
That's only happened once before in 1898. Adelaide handling the pressure best in the opening minutes. Wait until you hear this. Very close to the man on the mark. Adelaide with the first. Eddie Betts gifted his first of the day. Left foot to the goal place. Not quite for Voss. Eddie, they've got two. But Jack Rewalt was quick to calm Richmond's nerves. What a grab of the grand final. The Tigers swung the momentum with their tackling and brilliance that won Dustin Martin a Brownlow medal. Little kick forward. Who will need to kick a goal? But the Crows were clinical in the forward 50. And Sloan gets his second goal. Sam Jacobs was causing havoc in the ruck. It's Greenwood, another one. Oh, that's going to hurt. The Tigers, though, wouldn't let the Crows get away. Bang! Richmond kicking four unanswered goals in the second quarter. Here's an opportunity for Graham. Graham just goes bang! Martin was starting to stamp his authority. He's got it. The champ's got it. Everything seemed to be going the Tigers' way. That should have been paid, I reckon. And it was a free kick that allowed them to extend their half-time lead. It was a yellow and black onslaught. Seven straight majors had Richmond fans dreaming. Lambert! Oh, yes! 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 In just his fifth game, Jack Graham was playing like a seasoned veteran. Can you believe he's kicked three goals in the grand final? Anything Dustin Martin touched was turning to goal. Good, gave it off to Castagna. Right foot step, got it. Goodness gracious me, the Tigers have got another. The Crows were doing everything they could to stop Dusty, but everyone was playing their role for the Tigers. 45 points the margin early in the fourth. Do you know what? It's Tiger time. That's what it is. The minor premiers, their own worst enemy all day. It was time to celebrate in Tigerland. Oh, it's there from the boundary line. Look at the Tigers come from everywhere. Look at the coach's box. Look at the fans. Club greats in tears. Another AFL fairy tale complete. And Dusty hooking, hooking, hooking. Oh, that's, that's it. Oh, yeah. The final siren triggering a roar 37 years in the making. Dustin Martin becoming the first player ever to win the Brownlow and Norm Smith medals in the same year. Mate, this, oh, I, I honestly cannot believe it. This is a dream come true. This is the best thing in the world, mate. 13th last season. Now Richmond is the team to beat. Adrian Archuli, SBS World News. So, Lucy, a touch over 100,000 people packed into the MCG here behind me this afternoon. Most, most of them have just gone over the hill here to have a drink and, and to no doubt celebrate the rest of the night away. But for a whole heap of Adelaide fans, they'll be heading home tonight wondering what could have been. Come on, Come on we can lose. Get it, Get They certainly will, Manny, and uh, make sure you get amongst the celebrations. I'm sure they'll be going well into the night.